We've been cooking. Hey, we've been cooking. And this is the Clark Valley Cook Group, the Benefield family. We revolved around Gravy's table. We're bringing it to you today. And I'm Chris. I'm Tammy. I'm Eddie. And I'm Felicia. I've got a question. Okay. And this is just mine and your banter. Okay. How do you cut up? How do you cut eat? my corn? Yeah. Just like Mama did. Really. You cut it off and then scrape it. I yeah. can cut it about two or three times and then, and scrape, then scrape it. it. Okay. Good. I do it just like Mama. Okay. <laughs> just making sure because the cream corn don't need to be whole corn or corn. No. Guys, <laughs> this is Tammy and Felicia and Chris and myself, Eddie. We are going to do a short video for you guys today on how we interact and how we cook together. <laughs> Tammy and I will try not to we're beat, the, we're beat the each other up. We're the ones that are, what, what do you Bulls call it? China shop. We're the leader kind of people, so we want to you know, be in control. We've yes, already control been in a couple issues. arguments. So, yes, we have. So, but all is good, and we're, we're moving forward. So we're fixing to get started. Just turn the oven on. It is preheating. Felicia is going to be doing biscuits. Tammy's going to be cutting up a chicken. I'm going to be working on corn and beans. And Chris is going to be frying over there, getting his batter ready for the chicken. And I guess we can get going. Are yeah. we ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. We use uh, paprika, cayenne pepper, white pepper, black pepper, and salt. So I'll be mixing those together. And that's what we use to put the chicken in once Tammy gets the chicken cleaned off. I already greased my pan, turn my oven on 425. I'm going to use about two cups of self rising flour. I'm going to throw a little in for extra. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use about a quarter cup of Crisco or shortening. And then start up combining. Until it's about the size of these. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting up this chicken so that Chris, you got the grease on? I'm working on it. Preheat? I do. Okay, good. Alright, we got a whole fryer chicken. You wanna get a chicken and not a hen if you're gonna fry it or it'll be taste like rubber. And a lot of people don't know that there's a difference, but there is. So this is a young fryer chicken. We're going to grab her um, by the leg first. And um, they have a joint. Now, if you want to be real technical, you can actually cut some of the skin away from the joint sockets. And you can see a piece of fat in there that runs along the chicken. And if you follow that, that's exactly where the joint is. Well, look at there. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> It just comes off real easy if you do it that way. By the way, my wife is videoing this, and I'm hoping she learns. <laughs> okay, now. That's my cream corn knife. I'm going to get it out of the way. Okay. Um, so anyway, we cut off the legs first, and then we do the thigh. Now, we are actually going to fry our chicken with skin off today. Um, I guess we could do some with skin, some without. But me and Chris actually like it better with skin off. It's got a crunchier crust. Uh, so now I just cut off the thigh. I am shucking corn. We got a couple different kinds of corn it looks like right here. It looks like we got just some regular sweet corn and some silver queen. This is fresh corn. We will cut the top and bottom of those off and we will silt them. You can see that corn, fresh corn has silt in it and nothing's worse than getting a bunch of that in your mouth. So we have to be very careful to, after we shut the corn, we use something called a silt brush and you brush them down and it gets all those fine little pieces of silt from between the kernels of the corn. We're doing that first so we can get this prepped up and then we will begin to cook our green beans. Go over here. Get 
Well, what kind of milk do you like? In yours? I like better milk in mine. See, I don't. Do you not? I like sweet milk sweet in mine. Milk. For some reason. I like sweet milk Is that what roll you're... biscuits. Uh, grandmother used to. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like the taste of better. Yeah. I just gonna say yeah. my mama. <laughs> I used buttermilk at the house in my biscuits, and I made some the other day. And Jennifer went real crazy about them because they used buttermilk. She likes Which sweet I, milk. I love buttermilk. Period. I can do. Whereas most people love milk to drink. I'm, I'm a buttermilk girl. No way. You drink it? Oh yes. Oh, God. Oh, that's just for old age. That is. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> what, buttermilk? Yeah. yeah. Real old ladies. Like that's old ladies that ain't alive no more. <laughs> when you was raised that's with really old lady. <laughs> yeah. There's still a lot of people that like it. Yeah. He used to take when the majority of extra dough you know. left over. She mm -hmm. roll it All into right. like a I big got long my... oh, well, you got... piece. And just really? sort of tuck it in. Where should you get it to fit in the pan? All right, now we're going to get started with some green beans. Where is my green beans? These are fresh green beans that was canned last year. As a matter of fact, 2017, you see on the top? These were canned under pressure. Down here, Felicia cans quite a bit. I can some. Chris and Tammy do occasionally. Those little red seals seal. Got to throw those away. You keep your rings for next time. And we're going to use this big old boiler. There. We'll set those over there. We need to grab a little bit of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. Just a dab of that. We need lots of salt and pepper. I've got to get corn cream. I'm going to make it easy. Okay. Yeah, those little ones work good. Uh, like you back home. A little steak In the south, we cook everything and we so cook it until it's done. I don't want to eat raw food. If I'm going to eat raw food, I'll just uh, not turn on the stove. Uh, dredging my chicken, and we use an egg wash and a uh, little sweet milk. And then I Coat these real good. I got seasoning on them, and then I put the egg wash, and then I dredge them. You put seasoning on first. Yep. Oh, okay. These are this chicken's the bomb. Okay. It's good. We have experimented with it and figured it out. And um, I noticed that one of the guys kept going back and kept going back and kept going back to get, okay, I'm going to put it on. And, and, <laughs> and uh, look smashing. I got it. Um, anyway, one of the guys kept going back to the table and he just kept eating his green beans and kept eating his green beans. And he finally come by me and he said, Eddie, I've got a question. I said, what? He said, did you put crack in these beans, man? He said, they're, they're unbelievable. He said, we... And he just ate and ate and ate, but they had never eaten a southern Thanksgiving meal. They were used to stuffing where we do dressing and we do things a little different down here, but they ate till they were miserable. When we cream corn, we do it like our mama did it, okay? Because mama cut it small and made it good and creamy and not big hunks of corn. So when we cut off corn, we cut it off in about two or three layers. And then we scrape the cob. And if you're cutting corn, it's a lot easier if you put your corn down in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, it's a lot easier on you physically, so you don't have to hold it up in the air the whole time, too. This is in my way. Um, usually when I cream corn, I don't have all this stuff around the sink because it does splatter. Then once you cut the corn off the cob, then you scrape it. You scrape the starch out of it. Now, we were raised on field corn, which is a lot different than the corn you get at the store. It's not so sugary, and I like it much more than this kind of corn myself. But you get what you get. You don't get your feet, I guess. Really and truly is uh, starting stuff at the right time so that everything gets done at the same time. 
um, because you don't want to fry your chicken and have it sitting 30 minutes waiting on your green beans to finish. And I think that's why a lot of people can't cook. I really do. I think it's because they they don't uh, know which order to start in so that everything gets done at the same time. And then it's then it's a lot takes them a lot longer to cook a meal too, don't Eddie? Yep. What else can I do? Biscuits is popping up, looking good. Come on, beans. Go for boil it. We gotta get them to boil and boil this water down. We're gonna get that water out the better they're gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the strawberries for the strawberry shortcake. Mm. I'll keep an eye on the biscuits for you. Thank you, sir. The light went off that it was red. And what well, it means when the light goes off, this power's off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when there's no lights on the deep fryer. All right, I'm, well, plugging, I'm plugging the deep fryer into the wall. It doesn't need to be in this cheap drop cord. It's okay, it's on right now, it's fine. It's, it's probably just got knocked off on the back, Tammy. Get over here and cream the corn. All right, so I'm we can go. You. You it may have tripped. Yeah, I see it. It's our skillet. Um, but it is better when you deep fry it, so we decided to deep fry it today since Eddie was going to be at the stove. When you got four people working in the kitchen, um, you got to have a lot of room. And I don't have a big house. You've got to check the seasoning on them beans. They don't have any seasoning in them, do they? We've got salt in that room. Now, Tammy uses water Eddie's down. been on the video the whole time. Well, look, this is how our cream corn looks. It's in tiny little pieces. He has. I don't even hardly have any footage of anybody else. Um, it's in little tiny pieces, see? So we cut it off really little. And um, I just wanted y'all to see how little we cut it off. And then, of course, once we get it all cut off, I'm not going to put this yellow corn in there. Then we scrape it. You're not going to put any of the yellow in there? I put one piece. I'm not going to work full of them other ones. Good. Are you getting my face? Yeah. You don't want me to? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, well, okay. If you don't get me in the video, they'll be mad. All right, look. This cream corn is ready for Eddie. I'm just telling the truth. Here. Eddie. All right, sit it down. Been here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with cream corn, you use lots of butter. Oh or I do. I, I like lots of butter, lots of salt, lots of pepper. Tammy scrape the cob so it'll be good and starchy. You'll have that good, creamy. Texture. You may have to add some cornstarch and a little meat. Because that store bought corn ain't as good as what you get home. Don't have as much starch in the bottom of it. Bella looks like she got no. cast iron. This is fine. Okay. That's not much sugar, Daddy O. Can you hand me the other sugar? Put this one up. Thank you. All right, here you go. Can you burn your biscuits, Felicia? No. Felicia's got this. Can you use two percent milk? I'll time. stick them in here and watch them, Felicia. Yes. Okay. No, sometimes we use skim. Come on. No kidding. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we use skim milk, and we're still fat. Who knows? Still, we still buy the fat. Oh, yeah, we buy red oh, top. Yeah. 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 I, I, I can't do that now that I'm older. I get flatulence. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Of course, we don't say flatulence. We say gas. Or I poo them on. Oh. All right, poo them on. Thanks. Um, That's TMI. Yeah. No, it ain't. Life. We get old. What are you going to do? Uh, but you know, we don't feed a lot of people. Usually feed feeding army. Is that good? Uh huh. All right. Biscuits are done. Let's put them up on the rack. Lack of communication. What we have up here. Failure to communicate. Hey, it's up to. Talking to you. I don't know how. I don't know why I put myself at the sink because I'm having to wash all the dishes. You make the rules. I'll go along with them right now. <laughs> because corn will burn fast. If it's got a lot of starch in it. Yeah. So you want a pan that will spread that heat out, cook evenly on the bottom. That's why I love using that wok for my corn. I love a wok. 
Yeah, I want pretty good. Well, I don't use one much. What did you put in the strawberries? Uh, sugar. Just sugar. Just sugar. Hey, I thought Felicia had the strawberries. I told her we were going to microwave. Back off. <laughs> I told them you cook like granny, or I cook like, oh. I like my strawberries juicy like mama made them. Not in big hunks. I always cook mine down on the stove. See, uh, me and Eddie both like them, I like cook, juicy like. I cook something to get the cornstarch out. I'm just going to make a little bit of a slurry right, with cornstarch so it's not. Oh, Four. it separates good. See, that's that still not Still not good enough. Can we smush them, Felicia, or you want home? Hey, it's your deal. Hey, you I want to smush them. Smush them. Smush them. That's right. Smush smush them. Them. We cook like Mama. I like them smooth. Got two Ivas in here. Oh, Lord. In the bottom of it, we're going to let that cook all the way out. And when it gets all the way out, you have to be very, very careful to not let them scorch. Don't let them burn on the bottom. They're really not hot enough. Yeah, we want them to sink down in the biscuit. Oh, they look good. They are good. Don't have to worry about it. I mean, we grew, up we grew up together, but I think it's pretty interesting that he does his strawberries like I do. He does his biscuits. But it just goes to show when you raised in the same house, your mama really does have a big impact on how you cook. Like I said, I really? Is that your family? Yeah, that's mine. You can have I want you to look. I'm gonna pull this back. You see how mm -hmm. it's getting nearly nothing down in there? That's when you gotta start really being careful with these southern green beans. You gotta let that cook on out. Yeah, once we thicken this, we'll slide out and make some gravy. That's all we got left in it. Yeah. Gravy. All southerners like gravy. Now we were raised not on red light eyed gravy, but white milk gravy. I like to do this but I do, but I like to put my salt and pepper in now. I like to watch the pepper sizzle. I'm strange. I usually add just enough flour to get it good and thick and wet. And then you want the flour to get brown. If you don't, then it won't taste as good. It'll be, it'll taste more like flour. One time Tammy made something. All right, this is thick. Now once your gravy starts getting thick, you gotta get it off. Because it just continues to get thicker and thicker and this is hot, this will burn me. She made that uh, Yummy. Mm -hmm. Now it's really too thick. If you pour it up and it's too thick, you can just add a little water or milk to it. All right, here's our gravy. Um, if you get it a little thick, all you gotta do is add a little water or milk to it. Whisk it good. Whisk it the whole time you're making it. It'll be nice and creamy like this, and because you, you don't want it to have lumps in it. She's so soft spoken until she gets mad. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing you're going to have to remember too is <laughs> all the judges have different taste buds. It's good. That's what I say too, but if you watch enough cooking shows. Put a leg on there. Alright, fried chicken. Oh, good gravy. Green beans. That can be my plate. I guess Gordon Ramsay would have a fit. Well, he's not here. Feathers might be edible. You don't know. I eat beans. That looks like a good looking plate, don't it? It does.